Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to do a full review of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus's edge screen and edge panels. Edge panels are fully customizable, and there are some real hidden gems here that you can activate. So let's dive in and discover everything, such as this cool coin tossing game panel that emulates actual coin tossing right on the edge screen. Let's dive in. All right, so before I dive into the actual edge panels that are right over here, let me go into the edge settings and I'm gonna show you a couple things really quickly. So let's go over to the display, which is right here on the top. Scroll down under display, go to the edge screen. And here we have the edge panels and edge lightning. The very first thing you wanna do before you even play with the edge panels is to actually configure this handle. This thing is called the handle that allows you to pull in the edge screen. So tap on the settings and go into the handle settings. So from here, you can actually move this handle anywhere that you want. You can have it on the left and on the right. If you have it on the right, the edge panel will come in from the right side. If you have it on the left, it's gonna come in from the left side. And you can also make it small or large. Okay, so let me put it over here. So it can be small or large and you can change the transparency. It can be invisible if you don't want to see it, or it can be fully visible or the middle. And of course, when you pull the edge panel inside, when you activate the edge screen, it gives you a vibration feedback that you can enable or disable right from here. So that is the handle. Make sure you put the handle somewhere where, where it's very convenient for you guys to access for maximum comfort. So let's go back out here. And now, we're going to be talking about these two options, but first, let's talk about the edge panels. Let me go back out really quick and just pull this up really quick. I'm going to show you a couple panels here that you're not going to see with the phone. For example, the calculator panel is something you have to download and install separately, and then you can do quick, uh, do quick calculations over here. Uh, very convenient to have. And then you have the weather widget that comes standard. Uh, you've got the uh, device maintenance that comes standard. And of course, if you tap any one of these icons, it takes you into the app that actually manages that setting. All right, let's go back out, go back in. And then we have the coin tossing game that I just talked about. Basically, what you can do is you can ask somebody uh, head or tails, and then they say heads, and you tap it, and then you get heads, okay? Or you can say to do it again if you want. So head or tails, you say tails, boom, you get heads. So great for coin tossing uh, with your buddies. And then over here, we have the soft key edge panel. This panel is fantastic. Uh, these top buttons here are the replicas of the buttons at the bottom. You know, you've got the back key, the home key, the recent key. But these two screens are amazing, these two buttons, I mean. This one allows you to lock the phone on the spot. All right, let's go back in. And the other one allows you to take a screenshot. So if I'm on this screen, I want to take a screenshot of this screen to share with somebody. I just pull the edge panel. I click screen capture, and it takes a screenshot and then it saves that screenshot into the gallery application. All right, so as you can see, we have some really cool uh, panels over here. That's a data usage manager. It actually shows you uh, how much data you used since uh, April 1st. Again, you can manage all that, you know, what date you want this to start off of. Scroll over, you've got the edge board. You've got a little uh, things over here. And then if you tap this button here, it gives you a list of all the favorite apps that you can quickly access if you tap on the settings it actually allows you to go in uh, to the edge board click edit and change what apps you want to have in that favorites drawer all right so you can change all these apps which is great and then if i scroll over one more time that's the fast notes i can create shopping lists and have them on my edge panel anytime i desire now we're going to talk about those but let me go into back into the settings Go to display and go to uh, edge panels, which is at the bottom right there, edge screen, and go into edge panels. And basically what you can do, if you look here, I have a lot of edge panels. You're not going to get these many edge panels when you first buy the phone. So what you have to do is you have to go into the download. And once you go into the download, you have a bunch of, a whole bunch of free edge panels that you can download and install, or paid ones, okay? And some of these paid ones are really nice. Uh, for example, this one is the messages application. 
uh, Messages Edge panel, I mean. And if you download this, you can actually see your text messages in your Edge panels in this format. And uh, let's go back out so you can download as many as you want. Let me go back out. And then if you tap on this icon here, what you can do is you can reorder your Edge panels. And uh, one more thing before I do that, as you can see, I have a lot of panels available. Unfortunately, you cannot activate them all at once. You can have a maximum of nine Edge panels at all times. So if I do go back into the Edge panels, I can only have nine panels activated at the same time. So you have to be very selective in what you choose. But going back over here, we already looked at the handle settings. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can uninstall an Edge panel that you do not need. You just pick the one that you don't like, you tap on this, and you click OK. All right, and that is gone. And then if you go back in, you tap this again, you tap on reorder, and then you can actually reorder the Edge panels uh, by the order that you prefer. So if you want the weather widget quickly accessible, you can move it to the first position. Or if you want the calculator application, you can move that into the first position. And then when you go back out, let me go back in here. When you go back out and pull the edge panel in the first position, you're going to have the calculator and you can quickly use that. Let me go back into the settings. And like I said, just be aware that some of these edge panels come with the option to actually edit that panel. So for example, this uh, edge board panel is editable. Uh, the fast notes panel is editable. You go into the edit and you can actually add notes from here. Okay. So every time you add a note, it's going to show up on the, on the panel. So just be aware of that fact that you can edit some of these guys. And uh, that's basically all you can do with the edge panels. You know, go to the store, download more, reorder them, uninstall them if you don't need them, and also modify where you want the handle to be. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You get so much, you can get so much functionality out of the Edge panels. Sometimes you don't even have to go into the phone itself. You don't have to go like this and launch the calculator app. You can just swipe over and it's right there for a quick shot. Now let's look at the other setting I was talking about. Go back into settings, uh, go to display, go to the Edge screen right over here, and go to Edge Lightning. So when you enable Edge Lightning, what's going to happen is every time you get a text message or an, another notification that you make available, uh, it's going to actually give you a light around the edges of the device. It's hard for me to show here because there's so much light in here, but uh, you can test it out, test it out yourself. Uh, the only thing I want you guys to be aware of is this thing here. Uh, it says show Edge Lightning when the screen is on when the screen is off or always. Just keep it at always to get the maximum effect. And then if you tap this, manage notifications, only for the applications that you actually enable is for what you will get the edge light lighting. All right, I've been saying lightning, it's actually lighting. So if I go here and I can disable this, this, and just keep this on, every time I get a text message, I'm also gonna get, gonna get the edge lighting. All right, which is fantastic. And if you scroll over, it just describes to you what it does. And of course, if you don't want this, boom, you turn it off. Just like the panels. The panels can be turned off if you do not need panels. But let's keep it up. All right, guys, so that's basically everything you need to know about the Edge panels. And uh, of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a big thumbs up if you have a Galaxy S8 or you want one. And also uh, make sure you look at the description box below and there's actually more videos about the S8 and S8 Plus which reveal hidden tricks, tips and tricks for these phones. And there's a lot of those too. All right, well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you have a great day today. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down in the comments below.